And here we are. We are back with Let's Play Cognition. I'm not Chapter ready one, to head part back there three yet. now. And no, we can't go see Rose yet. Because we haven't been to the cemetery yet. Right, so we gotta to go to the cemetery again. This is the one where her brother died, I assume? Uh yes, we're going to visit her brother's grave. Oh okay. Flowers. Uh, one of the emails, uh, the one from her father, said to bring flowers, but you the actually just can't. There's no way to get flowers. So oh. Can you pick it's them up? That I can feel this like, year, from the graveyard? After what happened here three yes, years ago. you can steal flowers from someone else's grave. Awesome. That is the correct way to do things. Yes. Adventure game. Just take anything that's not nailed down. You're the stalwart hero of the land. It works for RPGs as well. This is terrible, yes. but no one will miss it. I hope. I, <laughs> I, I'm too boring and pragmatic about these things. Dad possibly. decided we should bury Scott in the same place he died, instead of where Mom is buried. I never asked him why, but I didn't want to deny him anything. He was so broken. I plan to be buried somewhere very inconvenient. Hey, Scotty. How are you, baby bro? I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, That's a lot of talking. Yeah. Freaking leaves are everywhere. We're probably not meant to I talk over all this stuff, but I think case. it's fine that we've because we've got the Baby's thing up. So. Yeah, no one There's cares about this shit. About yeah. And this thing that I've got is still out of control. <sighs> it's like this game is doing a let's play of itself. Well, how are you? How are things on the other side? <laughs> I'll come more often, and I'll bring Dad next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. I assume that was a tear. I think she just like blew a kiss type thing. Oh, that. Excuse me. Yes. I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh. Technically, I'm so... she only took one. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> Don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Yeah. I'm why is she not talking? Why I'm are they just doing reaction shots? You, uh... I don't know. It, it makes me think of that uh, Futurama episode where Calculon says, Just <laughs> splice in some action shots of me. <laughs> no, no, yes. fine, really. And the comic book art is normally really good, but for some reason, some of the Wait, some of the frames here are just really weird looking. They're all weird. Yes. Well. I like that. that. That mouth. What is that? <laughs> and she's still just looking over her shoulder at the other person. Like, they've had enough of a conversation that you could swing around and or stand up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Stand up like a normal person. Well, as close as these characters seem to be able to do. And you'd think there'd be like some psychic energy in a cemetery, but no, there's no. nothing. Where have I seen her before? Probably here, but... I like the fact that she was presumably there the whole time while we just walked up and stole a flower. Hey there. Yeah. Hi, Erica. You look familiar. Oh, I thought it was going to do the talk about the witches familiar. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> really? Wow, that's dedication. I take care of the family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him, or talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yeah, Scotty. Yeah, because I get that impression about you. Like, you don't mean to be intrusive. I would like, though. <laughs> but I must have seen you here before. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Has it gotten better? A little. I almost feel like in these it's games, so the when you get to the last passed, voice option, it should just automatically it. select it. Yeah, I mean, that's just like, the hardest part. And these so conversations where you just go through every option in order, like, it's really just, boss. I think, to make sure you, you don't cop? get bored with nothing to FBI. click. Yeah. And yeah, 
That's what makes it even harder to accept. Out of curiosity, should we be paying attention to this? I don't think so. I have to go now. Well, hey, you seem all right. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. That's not I've weird. I've never been asked to hang yeah. out yeah. in the cemetery. You don't before. sound like a barrel of laughs Maybe at in all. High school. Wait, that works. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. Yeah, because you don't go on a we date with a crazy person. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Right. Both of them seem to be hey, Erica, you way too hung up on their brother's deaths. Rose? Like, it's been three you know and what? six yes. years. She's yeah. A lot of the pain I, I was also Can just thinking, her? her business is having problems. The problem is that she's to. probably spending all her time at the graveyard. She's really something special. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is now the middle of the day. She should probably be at work. Yeah. I know my boss gets annoyed when I don't turn up to work. Oh. That was so embarrassing. Oh, I love this. Look at her head. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> but she's also saying that was so embarrassing while standing next to the person and having her head ghost basting. Yep. Whoop. <laughs> All fixed now. Head's fine. <laughs> All good. It just does that sometimes. Now that we've been to the cemetery, we can go see Rose Medea. So you did actually need to read those emails to know what you're doing. Um, no, you didn't. Like, you can just go to the cemetery anyway, because she said to Rose that she was going to. Uh, but uh, the email just explains why she steals a flower. Right. There you are, my dear. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah, here I am. Wow, that's a bit rude. Hmm. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that that was obviously as. Three I'm o'clock sure on a Friday. That she can really help, but I'm here. So they had to voice it because they hey, made, left it clickable, but yes, they didn't have anything to say. Yeah, that's what I mean. Someone's going, so, "Oh fuck it, it's why Friday." Why decide to open an Damn, antique done. shop? I'm good at finding the rare and the strange. That certainly makes me feel better. The things in this shop are wonderful trinkets, full of mysticism and meaning. If you like something. You just have to ask. Did we comment on how weird her voice is? I've had the time to think about last I don't night, remember. About this thing of mine. But Your visions, you mean. It is weird. It seems like she how kind of has a bit of a shifting accent. Many yeah. of my customers ask the same well, question. Someone's really you affecting the crystal ball. some sort of Neither do some of them. cross yeah. between. Sometimes yeah. We mock yeah, like a, just a bad actor trying All to right, do an I'm accent. I'm getting tired of this runaround. If you want me to be up front with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Very well. What do you want to know? We look really evil in this, I must say. Yeah. It's that weird what thing do she does with her eyebrows. Stuff? Yeah. You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are. I wanted to know it all. The very last detail of everything. And sometimes I ask more than maybe I should oh, have. Oh God! <laughs> but I don't regret my life. Or the place oh yeah, this goes on a bit. This is this worse than the Witcher. The Witcher used to go on. Where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some people call a scion. A so what? no. <laughs> a scion. Listen, I'm telling you what you want to know. So scion's the sort of word that I'm going to have to ask you to let could be spelled a few different ways and mean different things. <laughs> to let me help. Yeah. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. I feel really uncomfortable. Also, why would you say some like people call her a yeah, scion when the more have common word would be I psychic? Have, but so what is the big deal? Well, it's this an adventure game, and we have to use adventure game logic here. Embrace it fully. Because it is a and you need to show off that you've heard words. Go away. Rose's dialogue here ago, is just really, really stilted. She's just pausing but all the time for no just, reason. It's very That's how we talk. Now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself... Things that haven't happened to me. Hmm. Is that bad? No. Maybe they cut together why? a few takes. I wonder why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you well, that would have made evolving. making toast difficult. What? If you can see the past in ways no one else can, 
Is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? That would be amazing. Has something happened to you recently? She just contradicted herself. That, would that be so strange? It would be amazing. I wasn't well, it can be strange and amazing. Let so. us put this vision of yourself aside for now. I don't think the world assigns only one no. to see the past. descriptor to everything. Are you ready for she said it would, with she implied that it would not be strange, but it would be amazing. I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I... For evil. I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat trick. I like to call this projection. Just so you know, I'm listening to this in double and tondra mode. You'll be able to extract <laughs> the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Places have memories? Yes. You know this because you've used this. When you learn how to yeah. tap onto it, <laughs> well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Now we probably shouldn't be doing this, but what the heck? It's <laughs> more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him. A very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. Fortunately, such an item so does exist. Wasn't it mentioned that in the last something bit? He would have yeah, his cigarette lighter. That's ago. it, yeah. Won't this be fun? Yes, my dear. Do you get the feeling that, um... I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Rose, uh, doesn't understand sarcasm. That's yeah. not a place for a sofa. But then again, either that or she's just deliberately ignoring it. Yeah. Why, why do we think that's an odd place for a sofa? This is an antique old. shop. I wonder what century they're from. Yeah, I don't know. I think she she doesn't actually know what an antique shop is, These does she? Yeah. <laughs> tasty. John would be all over them. Why is there random donuts in the shop? They are, she's Can actually just going to explain that. Do me that. a favor, child, oh. and take all of them. They're going to go to waste, and I hate throwing food away. Do you always have donuts for your customers? They used to love them, been doing it for years. But now, they're not as popular anymore. Makes me sad. Why does that make her sad? Yeah, uh, it's a bit weird. Also, you've got them just sitting in the middle of the shop, so most people who come in just go, huh. This is where Rose places the donuts. Yeah, like there's not John a sign saying take one or anything. Uh, nice lamp. That obvious puzzle hint, like John want, likes donuts, we need something from John. Yeah, that doesn't actually play out. I think it's an alternate solution to a puzzle, but and again, like I, I wouldn't believe you can't find the key either. for it. And yeah, I yeah. couldn't figure out how to do anything with those donuts. I can't believe there are some people that believe this crap. But this crap's real. You know it's real, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm psychic, but crystal balls? Whoa. <laughs> Slow down there, space cowboy. <laughs> Why don't they just have the morgue and the head office appear on the top map? Instead of just have it I go... I don't know. It's really inconvenient. I get the feeling that's something that changed halfway through, and they've gone... Ah, oh, no, we'll just do this, and then it was too much work to go back and change it. Also, there's the elevator in here that you can take to the different levels, but they could have made the morgue one of those. Yeah. No, it's a separate building for some reason. Is it just my or is his head very skinny compared to, to the rest now. of him? Might just be the angle, John, but yeah, can I it looks your weird. Lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me yeah but it would really help me out <laughs> no it's very All important right, to him and no one touches it that's why it's just sitting day, on the far side Rose, of his desk yeah sucked it up and cooperated now i need your lighter so that rose can help me and you are going to let me borrow it damn you put it like that erica All is right, a real asshole well i gotta say he was pretty easily convinced you, yeah i'll bring it back 
And you better. I think there must be some way to like trade him the donuts for it or something, but yeah, I just I tried to give him the donuts and just can't. It, the donuts wouldn't even make any sense either, though, if it's that precious to him. It's just like yeah. Ah, fetch quests. <laughs> and like, there's no way to get the lighter earlier, so you couldn't get it when we were at the office last time. You had to go talk to Rose, then go back to the office, then go back to Rose. Yeah. So it's not like you could have nicked it. And... Yeah. I found what we need. John never lets go of this. This That's is not perfect. True. I will leave this here. Now, let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. I want you to picture every item in this place as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. I have no idea what that even means. On this room and this room only. I just... It's... Well, I no, it makes concentrate. sense. It's just trying. not helpful. Yeah, like, I... I don't know how anyone could follow that instruction. Whoa, what's happening? She's already what told you. you. Well, I can see this room, but I can... It's hard to explain. I see things that... Concentrate on those things. Now I want you to separate them and break them apart, one by one. Just stop smashing shit. I want you shit. to single <laughs> out the memories that were attached to Jean when he was here. How the hell do I do that? You will with a bit of help from me. What? Your friend always sat by the crystal ball table. And there is a particular place in here he loved to hang around. So you need to know a fair but bit about the person first. know what that is. For this to work... Yeah, it's to focus on it's not things. the easiest the power to thing, use. This item you brought from him. Focus on them. Am I under? Am I right in assuming that this is the sort of power that you use once when the quest demands you use it? Otherwise, you just don't bother. John, I'm not on, entirely John. sure. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real. But, you can still but obviously the powers in are all entirely Sometimes situational, you like that you can only use the them holes, where the you know? story calls for it. Other yeah. times, just seeing them will be enough for your goal. This is... as much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. Use it well, and never be afraid of it. Thank you, Rose. Mastered projection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just learned about it, mastered it. And so, yeah, you select three things in the environment, and if they're the right three things, then a ghost appears. Not an actual ghost, but just an image. Talk to me, my dear. Let those nasty demons out. What? Oh. Flashback. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alice left me. But it, it's good. I mean, I mean she can be, finally be happy. She's gone to her sisters. They're living their expensive McMansion. Ah, oh, Christ. I don't know how to be myself anymore. You know, the, the fat guy that eats the donuts and solves the case at the end of the day. Now I'm just going through the motions. But there are always demons that bite us and chew us and take our peace with the world away. But the human heart is big and noble, and yours is also I kind think she's confused gentle. it with the horse's heart. And it is heart. in that strong heart of yours <laughs> where you can always find I gotta yourself. say, even in this game, this Rose is particularly obnoxious. Right, <laughs> smart, sharp, kicks like a man, shoots better than any of the old farts in the station. Got it from her father. He was a captain of the BPD. Always made our lives easier. I knew her brother, too. Scott, not made of the same stuff as Erica, but, but still a cool kid. Cool Last kid. month we lost him to a piece of shit murderer. 
The things that life gives us and the things that life takes from us, we have no control. That's over really them. unhelpful. We do with them yeah. what we can. Ah, bullshit. Scott should still be alive today. That kid didn't have to pay for our crap. He didn't deserve it, and neither did she. I was dumb to think I could pretend it was all fine. He should really just go to a psychiatrist. To her for it to hit me. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can tell you a thing or two about demons. How to face them, how to fight them. I've gotten people that have hit rock bottom to stand up for There's so much talking in this. Oh, but yeah. this demon of yours, I cannot tell you what to do with it. That is up to you. I am sorry, my dear. You don't sound oh, sorry. So nah. Who am I? Some weird shadow effect going on with his face. And it's really creepy when they look directly down the camera like that. Yeah. And I don't know what we were supposed to have got from that entire conversation, like... At first I thought he was saying that he had a thing for Erica. But then it just seems like... Yeah, no. Eh. Just, he's just sad because her brother died, I guess. Yeah. Now, we can finally look at this thing that we didn't get to see because there were people around. Right. Some green paint. And this bit confused the hell out of me because the I assumed left a message here. That How can I look at it? I assumed that we'd use our new power to see behind the green paint and so I tried to do that and it's not what you meant to do at all. No. That seems a bit odd cuz yeah, like new power, we've just seen this. It's it makes sense. You would Use your new power to. Yeah, that's the way it usually works. Evidence. Yeah. No, this is not right. I need to choose the things that are related to what I want to see. What was important to what happened here last night? And see, the problem here is we don't know what it is we're trying to see. So it's very difficult to figure out which things you need to select. Yeah. No, this is not right. You can also look at these paint Some cans. Some graffiti cans. Andy? This one is red. <laughs> Some graffiti cans. Hmm. The color is green. Number GK4893. That number obviously is important. Is it? <laughs> Although it doesn't seem to be written on the can, so I don't know where she got it from. Uh, I can forgive him that. It would take a fair bit to model that in such a way that just it doesn't just look write like... some numbers on the can. Oh, yeah. Terence. Terence really looks like the sort of guy you find Buddy? in the bushes shooting no. people. <laughs> All things, not necessarily people. I, I suppose. need to call James Bond. Biggie, you're the Bond. I'm the Q. What are your techie needs? At the crime Why did she whisper that? This graffiti that was recently painted. I want to see whatever it covered. I got just what you need. Take a look at this. Bada boom, ding dang. It works like an ultraviolet light, only you can actually choose the color of light to cast and it'll see through that color revealing whatever's behind it. Wait, what? You know, like those that is books the those old worst PC bullshit. <laughs> Why not just use magic neat. power? Not only that, yeah, you can like, also it's use it clearly a magic. Just That's just not a real thing that exists. It it. You'll be able to project that image onto anything. <laughs> and it's what also a projector for some you? reason. Yeah. You'd be in a cave, crying yourself to sleep. See you later. Alligator. I hate that guy. Yeah, it's just they're trying to do this like friendly banter thing and it's just so awkward. Yeah, he also is a tech guy who's working in a entrance hall. 
Well, yeah, that's because the forensics lab got shut down and moved to the morgue for some reason. To the entrance hall of the morgue. <laughs> yes, because the doctor won't let him move his stuff into the main room. I still have no respect for him. Come on, magical device. Show us the wall. Light gadget. I need to enter some sort of code. Oh, God. Here. And you actually have to remember the code. You can't just like, do it hate, automatically. I really hate that. I mean, um, Human Revolution does it good that it shows it up. Yeah, and lets it. you input it or choose to hack. Oh, and you can't go from one through round to nine. You have to go up. What? <laughs> and like, there's no like confirm or anything, so I was a bit confused here. Like, if I click exit, is that gonna stay? But yes, it does. Just gives you no indication of that. On magic box. If your eyes could see what mine can't, what does that mean? That's actually a very good question. Yeah. And now I looked up a walkthrough so that I could figure out what I was actually supposed to use the power for here. Mm. And yeah, it's not. Uh, it's, yeah, not, it doesn't really make much sense, because what we're going to do is get the body back. Like, it was already there when we were first here. Yeah. These visions of mine feel almost like the real thing. Well, in a sense, they are. So we're just bringing back something we've already seen. His mouth is very dry from the hanging. How can we tell he's very dry in the mouth? If I could only see what you saw... Wait, the message. What is he looking at? The ground. He's... Yeah, he's clearly looking straight down, but that's not what he's supposed to be looking at. Yeah. It... Just run across. I'm not sure what's in this barrel, but it was here prior to the murder. How could you know that? <laughs> Is there something in that wall? Yeah, probably wall. Apparently, if you follow his eyes to where he's looking, he's staring at the wall, apparently. What's this? There's a hidden compartment. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it was a brick. There's a photo inside. Why? What do we have here? A photo? Who's leaving these? And who are you? What do you mean, these? Yeah. Th I'm going to email a digital picture of this to my computer, so I can look at it later. Oh. Okay. But we can also look at it now. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Not all hangings are suicide victims. Hmm, what could this mean? Well, <laughs> let me put it out there. Yep. Some but people I, are murdered. We already know this guy was murdered. I don't... That clue doesn't make any sense in this context. Yeah, and she didn't read out the important bit, which Come seems on, to be search closer. Yeah. I don't know what we're meant to search, though. Possibly the thing that was surgically implanted in him, but we pointed that out in the morgue and no result there. Yeah. Next time, we'll return to the office and break into the boss's office. Oh, finally. Yep. Because I kind of forgot to do that, but uh, yeah, we'll do that next time and then I'm at, actually at a loss at this point. I don't know what else we need to do. So we'll be consulting some let's, uh, some other Let's Plays and maybe a walkthrough. 
yeah, I've already had to look at a walkthrough a couple of times so far, so I'll have another look and actually I think we need something from Terence and that's why we're breaking into the boss's office or something. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, what? Yeah, maybe we'll rewatch our old things and see what we're doing cuz Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Play, playing this a little bit at a time, I kind of forget where we're going. And it's not the most straightforward plot to begin with. Let's be honest, it's an adventure game. You have the weird logic there going on. And you probably have a couple of riders, which usually makes things a bit more difficult. Yeah, and just the way you have to do things that don't make any sense, like breaking into the boss's office instead of just waiting for it to get back means that you can't always rely on what makes sense. Yeah. And then there's magic devices that can look through paint. Yeah, as opposed to just using your magic powers to look through the paint. Uh, what what would we have done if the painter had a if the guy who's spray painting had have used just the same colour as the text? Yeah, or just taken the paint can away with him so you couldn't look at the label. Yeah. 